you can see my face over here, over here. <laughs> you can see my face over here. Like, honestly, I didn't even know when this picture was taken. I think it was like in first year of Kingston. Um, and literally, it's on here and I'm, I'm quite proud of it. So I'm just gonna get my glasses ready for all those tips and all that jazz. So, tip number one to survive at university. Make sure if you're fresh off, go to your orienteering week. It's super important. You get loads of information there that you probably need and you probably think, oh no, it's the first week, blah, blah, blah. I don't need it. But honestly, it's the best way to start. Go to, even if you go to a party, just go to it and see what they say and you get most of the information that you need during that time. So it's very important for you to go to your orienteering week. And you get to see the university, you get to see like, like you know, where you're gonna be studying, your lecture halls, your thing. So you get to get a grip of the university. So like you're not gonna be on your first of uni trying to find like, oh, where's my lecture hall? Or where's this and that? So it's very important to you know how the library works, how the various things work. You get induction in so many things. So important to make sure you go to your orienteering week. Even if you're tired, stressed, and you've got freshers, flu, or whatever, just go to it. It's very important. support center right here so this is like no way your careers and employability services so these guys are super amazing because they help you with like obviously future prospects so I know where that is because that's going to be a means of people for like jobs yeah also for like CV, um, CVs and your personal statements and all that jazz so super 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 important then we also have the student lifestyle center life life or what did I say lifestyle student life center this is super important. Know where your student support centre is because they will help you with any financial difficulties you have um, during your studies, um, like any things that you have like with housing or finding that difficult. So that's super important for you to find out where your student life centre is. And we have it right here and it's so good. Um, So obviously, in the JP field, they have loads of lecture halls and things like that. I'm not even sure if I can get into what I'm like now. Um, but they like mini small kind of lecture halls. Oh, look at open. Yeah. Oh. So this is like one of one of the major, uh, not major. It's like one of the minor small lecture halls that we have. Not even a hall. Um, we usually have like I remember we always had like uh, workshops and stuff in here. Important to know where your workshop, like I said, your workshops and tutorials, where they're gonna be, and seminars as well. So literally, we used to have seminars in here, and um, I think I used to sit right at the back. <laughs> oh yeah, I used to sit right down there at the back. This is where I used to sit. Like, we have so many, I'm not even sure what this is the exact one, but we have so many of these. So I used to sit right here at the back. Um, I wouldn't advise you to sit at the back, but, it's important for you to come to seminars, even if you don't know any answers or any questions that are going to be asked or you have no idea, just come to it because no knowledge is lost. Just make sure you attend it. Um, obviously, if you know the lecturers are asking questions or stuff like that, you can avoid it by just pretending to take your notes. Um, but don't miss your seminars. I know loads of people always, you know, say, oh yeah, seminars, workshops, they're not important. You know what, we can miss it. But trust me, you don't want to be missing that because it's super, super duper important stuff. Yeah, let's go. Um, anyway, so we're in the lift. We're gonna go right up. Um, I would advise you don't take the lifts. You know, make sure you try and take um, the staircase because yeah, exercise is important. But I'm not taking the staircase because I don't want to take the staircase. I'm quite lazy right now. But that's one tip. Do some exercise. Yeah, so take the staircase instead of the lifts when you're rushing for lectures. Because literally so many people go on the list and it's just Very long. Yeah. Find out, find out where spare rooms are where you could, you know, do some group studies and stuff. Because sometimes it gets to a point in the year where the library gets super duper packed and there's no space and you have like, you know, maybe a group presentation or stuff to do. So find out where you can actually do that. And we have like a room right here in the JT building where you have desk gear. So you can work as a group, you know, practice your presentation. You have like a computer there where you can log in. You've also got like a whiteboard here where you can literally do, 
like work as a team and a group and stuff like that. So find out rooms where you can do that so easily because it's super important. For you guys, like during your studies, to like be able to work in a team and know where all those facilities are because literally I am telling you, the library will get packed. When everyone's revising, blah, 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 the library will get super packed and you need spaces to revise, like for group stuff and group presentations and all that jazz. So like, I remember having like our workshops and stuff in this kind of room. So make sure you know where it is. Like, just make sure you know where everything is because like most universities will probably have like codes on the doors where it will say like PRJG303. I think most unis have that. Like UCL had the same thing. So I'm sure most of the other unis should have that. Like PR means Penryn Road, which is the campus we're on. JG means the building we're on. 303 means the third floor and this is a third classroom. So yeah, literally it's idiot proof to be fair. Okay. So, uh, like I said, in this building there are so many computer rooms. The library will get packed. So you know where your computer rooms are. So you can literally just come in here if there's no lectures or any things going on. You literally can come in here, use the computers rather than, you know, being in the library and trying to buy for computers. So you know all your spaces. And that's why orientation Read is important because you get shown all these things. Because everyone thinks the library is the only way. Even though the library is super important, which I'm going to show you, but the library is not the only way. Like literally you have so many facilities around the uni that you should utilize. And the only way you find that out, so you don't find it out like in your second year, is to go to your orientation week where you get an induction and you get shown everything and anything. So it's very super super duper important for you to know all the facilities that your library has so that's one thing that you should know um, like the book return services like you can see over here over here we have like um, laptops so you can even borrow laptops and return it back and stuff like that the payment system everything like Kingston is very good we've got so many things they've got even little mini pods in the library where you can utilize and you know stay and revise and stuff which is super super important so So this is literally my spot where I used to sit all the time. I used to have my laptop here. Literally, this is always my set and I used to revise here all the time. So the use of books that you'll be told during like your um, first lecture or like even before you start uni that you need um, like certain books I was told um, molecular biology of a cell cell books which I needed for like first year or blah 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 and the funny thing is that I bought all those books and look at it you literally have a whole load of that books you don't need to spend your money and to buy all the books that they've told you. That's why it's important for you to go to your first lectures, know what books or recommended books that you need and find out whether they have it in the library. So you don't need to spend like 500 pounds like I did buying books that I literally am not using and is literally carrying dust right now. universities you have like group study areas within the library like here so I remember using some of this room to like to study and stuff like that um, with like my friends if we're preparing for exams if we just want to like go 
out of like the quiet zone and just kind of like go in and walk with the advice on. So it's important for you to find out where that is and how to book it because I know that like, you have to book all these things in advance. So make sure you know where you group study areas or anything. Things like because yeah, it's very important. Make sure you know their office hours because in case you have any struggles or anything you might probably potentially need them so make sure you know where all the offices are and like i started biochemistry um and you obviously work in practicals you work in labs make sure you know where your um health and safety induction is because that's super important what you need for your labs or anything like your course essential things that you need for your course. Make sure you know all of them, make sure you know where your inductions are, any safety inductions that you have, and obviously you know where your labs are if you're working with any of them. Some of them might have lockers, some of them might not have lockers, so if you have some lockers here, make sure you know what you need, what you need pounds, some of them you require money. I like this one, you need quite a key, which I think you get from them. But make Townhouse, there's another addition of Kings in it added. It's gonna be so beautiful. And yeah. But yeah, it looks nice. Okay, so faith and spirituality area, even if you're not like super like religious or anything, your this area is super important, especially during uni because Uni is very, very stressful and sometimes you just need some time to yourself, some quiet time to yourself. And this area provides that, honestly, like you just need to move away from all like the rampage and the chaos during like lecture times or anything. Literally this area is the right area for you. Also right here we also have like undergraduate offices for stuff like that. So know where your offices are for your specific subjects because you might actually need them you know, during term time, so I know where that is. And then I'm literally going to be showing you around the student union um, area, which is, I think it's like one of the most important parts of your university that you need to know because in case anything happens during, um, in your course that you're not happy with or anything happens during term time that you're not happy with, literally your student union, so your student union reps and officers are literally the people for you. To find out where they are, and then you need to literally you can go to them for anything. And you can have that amazing studio area, um, and yeah, it's a nice looking area. Find out where your nearest microwave is, is and everything. It's quite dirty, but yeah. <laughs> find out where your nearest microwave is or anything like that, because honestly, spending money and buying food in the university is super expensive and in student union area we literally have microwaves and we have microwaves around places in the union so find out where that is because that's um, and we have freshers week know what's happening during your freshers week like obviously freshers week is like one of the most important times so yeah as a new student that's where you get to mingle get to meet people uh, make sure you're open to that because it's literally how you start uni is literally going to define how your whole uni experience is. And the people you meet during the first year of your university experience literally are going to be most likely your friends kind of for life. And so those are the literally the offices for like the student union offices and stuff like that. You can literally talk to you if you have any problems or any issues and what's going on. I was quite opportune to actually work with student union and yeah it was very good, it was great. Mm -hmm. Well 
term to lecture hall. I don't even know what lecture hall this is. Like, I've forgotten the name of this lecture hall, but it's amazing. Um, we had quite a few lectures here. I had like my analytical uh, chemistry or science um, lectures around here. Lecture halls are important. <laughs> Make sure you know where they are. Make sure you pick the seats that you want to sit in. You know, we've got, in this lecture hall, we've got different types of seats. It's not like the biggest lecture hall. We have a bigger one, which you see later on, but I don't think we're allowed in there. Like, we've got the swivel chairs, lecture-like chairs. So, if you come early, you'll probably be able to guarantee yourself some of these chairs. You've got, like, charging spots somewhere. Yeah, around there. Um, you've got the cramped lecture areas there. Um, yeah. So in lecture halls, you have different types of people. You have the key, key nabinos who sit at the front. You have the people who can care more, much about life right at the back. Then you have people like me who, I'm not really that keen, but I just want to get what's done done. I don't want to answer questions. I don't want to, you know, answer any questions in lecture halls. So I usually slip, sit in the middle. Then sit at the back, because like, if you're at the back, you get distracted, you know, and everything. In your lecture halls, key tip, make sure you turn off your phone because it's super embarrassing when literally you get a text or call during lectures and it goes off and everyone or eyes stares right at you. This is not too bad because it's not a big lecture hall, but imagine a big lecture hall like during my first year when a big lecture hall and if the, your phone goes off, literally everyone stares right at you because you've interrupted the whole lecture and it's super embarrassing and you don't want to be one of them. Also, make sure you know what technique works for you in terms of taking notes for lectures. Some people like to take notes by writing, some people like to take notes by using their laptop and whatsoever, but make sure you find out which one works perfectly for you because that's going to be super important when you're taking notes and trying to absorb all the information being given to you by your lecturers. So that's another important tip I would say. Um, for surviving university, I really like this lecture hall. don't know why, but I just like it. Um, also, know where the back entrance is, even if you're late. I know some people who are like, oh yeah, I'm late for my lecture site, so I couldn't be bothered to go. Find out where the back entrance is for your lecture halls and just literally just come in through because there's no point in missing the whole lecture and not knowing what's going on at all. Just come to it and absorb some knowledge because literally no knowledge is lost. No information is wasted. And if you can, get your friends to record some parts of the lectures if they can, and you can get some parts of it afterwards. But yeah, don't just skip a lecture completely. Come to it, even if it's halfway through, know where your back entrance is, because I know sometimes the lecturers don't let people come in through after like five minutes. But if you go through the back entrance, they're not gonna tell you to go back out. So, because that's just interrupting. So know where your back entrance is um, for your lectures. Um, yeah. So right here we have Picton and Picton is like one of the, it's like a canteen, it's not the big canteen, but big canteens can't really close. But yeah guys, honestly buying food in uni is expensive. So make sure you do your meal preps and like I said you have microwaves around where you can warm your food. Do not buy food, it's literally expensive. Also, relating to like people who take coffees, teas, and blah blah blah, get one of those thermal flasks or whatever, make your tea and coffee, put it in there, and even if you want to top up, like we have Starbucks in there, they will literally top it up for you. So I'm sure like most unis will do that anyway. Don't waste money on buying tea and coffee every day. For me, tea and coffee did not work in terms of waking up in lectures. Like, it did not keep me awake. So I always got my chai latte, chai latte and just enjoyed myself because sugar was the only thing that kept me awake during lectures. So don't waste your money thinking, if, tea, if coffee doesn't work for you, do not waste your money getting it um, because it's expensive, especially if your uni like mine was literally make like coffee sessions from Starbucks. That is super expensive. So make your coffee and tea from home. Oh my God, guys, it was so good to be finally back at Kingston University after like a year and a half. I haven't been there because I've been super busy, but Kingston was such a great university because it was where like literally my higher education started. But there's still so many more tips that I need to like, you know, kind of draw on. Um, um, yeah, guys, Freshers' Week. 
I know Freshers Week is an exciting time, you know, like honestly, you obviously party, you go to clubs, you do all that jazz. Yeah guys, in terms of Freshers Week, I would only advise you to go to the main events. I wouldn't say you should go to every single event because it's quite exhausting. And also during Freshers Week, it's the week where you're, like some uni, obviously like mine, I think Kingston, when I was at Kingston, it was literally the first week of uni, you have Freshers Week. So I remember juggling, going to all these parties in the night and still having to come back to uni at 9 a.m. for like some induction or for some health and safety stuff. So do it in moderation. Don't get the freshest fee. I had the freshest fee and it lasted for almost like three weeks. You don't want to be suffering that long. You know, uni is starting, it's ramping up. And honestly, the way you start, like, it's quite important. You need to start well. So I only advise you to go to the main events, the most important events. But yeah, guys, do not go to all of it. Just find out and figure out which ones everyone are majorly going to. Because also, it is expensive. You don't want to be blowing out all your money during the first few weeks of uni. Like I know the money comes in and some people have never seen that kind of amount in their account like at all. So remember if you're living out you still have rent, you still have to look after yourself till all the way in January before you get your next instalment. So honestly do not get carried away. Do not get carried away in buying drinks for people. Wait because you're having fun you're like oh my god I just met this made this new friend let's you know live it all up. No 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 chill don't do it chill out <laughs> yeah um another thing another tip how i could say is in terms of clothes and shopping get all your discounts that you can get sign up to uni days anywhere so use all the discounts but anyway for me i would personally advise everyone to go through thrift shopping and vintage shopping because honestly it's the best way to you know save money and also it's environmentally friendly you know recycling clothes and stuff like that like literally this top i'm wearing right now is a ralph lauren polo and um top and honestly i got it for 10 pounds from i think it was golly gams and true vintage there's so many other shops like true vintage asus marketplace you can get so many stuff like literally i'm pretty much wearing this shorts i'm wearing lee literally from i think true vintage so there's literally many ways of saving money but also still looking good and also helping the environment and saving it as well um because you know the fast fashion industry is just ridiculous the amount of exploitation that goes on in there and the amount of like landfill you know sites that are being filled with all this you know clothes that are not being used and people like get rid of after like one year of using it so guys literally vintage shopping do it um food in terms of food guys do you not spend your money all the time going out to eat or buying takeaways i know we got loads of discounts student discount but don't do it the best way to save money is to obviously meal prep you know do your meals make your meals and if you want to you know like obviously do some takeaways and blah blah, blah use discounts you know, GBK do 25% discount. I have so many diff different cards. Get all your Nando's cards, stack up the points on them so you can use it eventually. Like, get your free half chicken or whatever and blah, 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 or anything that you need. Get all these rewards cards. Just get it. I literally have so many of them. Subway, get it and use it. Because, you know, those are important. It's like, okay, you're going there all the time, stacking up the points. So you might as well, like, kind of reap what you sow, essentially. You know, you're spending money there and then obviously reap the rewards after because you've spent kind of like an adequate amount of money to be able to entitle to like a free maybe sub or whatever you call it yeah do that get all your discount cards be very stush with your money essentially be very stush um, <laughs> also in terms of like grocery shopping Forget about Waitrose, like honestly you're a student, you do not need Waitrose, you do not need your Asda, you don't need your Tesco's, you don't need your Sainsbury's Like, like you can do it once in a while and blah blah blah, co-op is alright because they give you 10% discount but yeah But you can do it once in a while but honestly spend, if you find Audi, Lidl, Poundland, all those Wilco's or whatever Go and shop there because things are a lot cheaper, like honestly And if you want to go to your Waitrose, if you want to go to your Sainsbury's asda whatever go late at night when like items are reduced especially food items because you get reduced items when it's like going past this i think it's um display date or whatever you call it and even sometimes if you ask like some of the stuff they might actually have some things that are going for free because they can't sell it anymore like obviously you can't get like detergents and all your washing liquid but like for free but in terms of food wise because food takes a lot of money like but i'll always suggest aldi lidl very very cheap honestly and if you want to go to your Sainsbury's whatever go late night shopping because 
things will be reduced, prices will drop and yeah, they're looking to get rid of things very quickly and yeah, it's the, always the best way. What else can I say? Like, I think I pretty much touched on most of the things I can remember right now. Uh, join societies, that's another thing I forgot. Join societies, go to your freshest fair. Like honestly, go to your freshest fair. You find so many societies you can join, something to belong to. Also, you know, if you can find like jobs within uni, like as an ambassador, you know, working during open days or kind of thing, do it. It's a great way to put, a great thing to put on your CV. If you have the opportunity of working with a student union, do it and apply for student rep. If you're passionate about things like that, just do it. Don't be scared about doing it. If you want to be a student rep for your course, just do it. It's an amazing thing to put on your CV and it's a good way to build up your skills, your leadership skills. So literally, any opportunity you find, just take it. Honestly, uni is hard. Like, it's not an easy experience whatsoever. Like, I've been doing this for the last five years. It's not easy. I'm still learning. But guys, literally... Take this test, yeah? Take it, absorb it, soak it in, drink it, eat it. And honestly, your life, at least when you're starting, is going to be a bit stress-free, you know? And also make sure you're organized, manage your time wisely. Manage your time wisely, manage your money wisely, manage every aspect of your life and look after yourself. Look after it, shower, brush your teeth. You know, don't lose yourself just because our oh, mommy and daddy are not there. Don't lose yourself, you know, look after yourself. You don't need to look like someone who's dying. Like honestly, like I, I made sure, even though I was dying inside, you know, with assignments and everything killing me, I still managed to try and look a bit more presentable in some sort of ways, you know? But yeah, guys, just look after yourself. Like, don't lose yourself. Don't lose who you are. Who you are. Make sure you stay true to your values. Make sure you don't go fully wild. Make sure you don't do things that you're going to regret. Because, <laughs> yeah, it, it could get awkward. Um, also, yeah, just spread your wings. Fly and enjoy it. Make sure you enjoy it. It's going to be hard. But just enjoy it guys anyway guys i still can't believe i'm doing youtube it's so weird to me right now that i'm still doing this thing called youtube you know but it's all good in the hood um i hope you've enjoyed this video i hope it's been useful and i know i haven't been able to cover like everything in total but yeah guys yeah just enjoy the experience and good luck if you're going to uni for the first time good luck hope you enjoy it and if it's not your first time you're going second year third year start your master's degree good luck also um guys <laughs> i hope you've enjoyed this video so anyway, like I say, dream big, keep being inspired, and stay true to yourself. That's another thing, a new thing for today, this week. Stay true to yourself. And anyway, guys, yeah, stay tuned for the more.